Ableton Live Session View has to be the best way to come up with an idea, lay a creative foundation and get that creative foundation arranged as quick as possible. Let's dive in. Allow me to introduce to you Ableton Live's Session View. This is how it looks like if we have just a single audio track loaded. So we're going to start completely from an empty session today. You can see that you have a couple of panels that you can enable and disable like the input output, send, returns, the mixer, the track delay. You also have a crossfader over here and the CPU usage but for the sake of keeping it visually clean we're just gonna have the mixer panel opened up over here you can see an audio track with a few cells and each of these cells seems to have this little stop button and if we drag in some loops then this stop button becomes a play button that would allow us to play each and every single clip that we drag in more on that later on and by hitting command or control I you can create more of these cells and you can really spam this as much as you want which is why Ableton Live Session View is also great for performing and dragging in lots of stems, lots of clips from a track or tracks that you'd like to perform live. Right now, I'm just going to undo that because we just want to keep a really minimal session, preferably with the default eight to nine tracks that we have in here. All right, so let's start our track from scratch. What I usually like to start off with is my groove or the elements that I find to be very important, like the groove. So I'm going to go through these samples from a pack that's coming out this Friday, which is called Tulum. Going to go through a few of these. Let's see. I like this one. Then I just drag it into one of these cells, these clips and hit play over here. Let's adjust the BPM, maybe, I don't know, 118, make it a bit quicker. Now, in addition to this, I would like to create a kick to have a bit of a rhythm going already. So I'm going to hit Command Shift T or Control Shift T to create a MIDI track. Going to load that up here. So the highest priority elements I'm going to assort to the left side and the lower priority I'm going to put more towards the right side. Now I'm going to double click this section over here so a MIDI clip is created. I'm going to hit right click, go into fourth and then click this guy over here. So this would be our kick note. Select this note and hit Control L to loop it up. We're going to hit play already. Now shift tab to get out of this view here. Now let's look for a kick. Maybe the first one here. We already got ourselves something going here. Awesome. So we're going to continue to add to our rhythmic foundation. So I'm going to go for a few shaker loops. Let's go through shakers here. For example, I like this one. I'm going to drag it into an empty space where it says drop files and devices here. You can see it over here. It's going to take a file, put it in here. And if we hit play, oh, loud, loud, loud. Dial it down a bit. Shakers aren't supposed to be too loud. They're just supposed to add to the gr groove, rhythm. <laughs> Dial down this one here. Ay, nice. How else can we add to the groove? Perhaps with a tom, a tom loop. So this one's in B. So we know the key of our track now, which is B. Nice. And then I can go through any loop that I'd like to just fill out the groove, right? I want to make the drum groove as solid and as full sounding as possible straight from the beginning. Sure. Dial the track down a bit first and then hit play. I feel like I have the low end spectrum already set. Now I could use a few top loops to fill out the high end frequencies more. Oh, that's a bit loud when we preview the sample. So let's dial down the headphone knob here, the Q level. Ooh, I like that. Let's drag it in. Remember, we're just getting inspired right now. We're just dragging in clips of sounds that we like, letting our giving our creativity some space to develop naturally. Notice how the groove's already sounding very full and solid. 
either I could continue adding more, but if I'm happy with this, I'll just hit pause for a second here. Once I have my rhythmic foundation, I usually group those into a track. So I select every track that I want to have grouped and I hit control G or command G to create a group. I'm going to give this group a yellow color. I like colorizing my drums in yellow. We are going to rename this track into drums. And as a matter of fact, let's make the kick red and call it kick. And you know what? Because the toms are pretty bass heavy, I'm going to take those out of the group. And I'm also going to give them a red color so I know what exactly is what. And if I want to play all these clips at the same time, then I just hit play over here. Which is pretty cool. And I can also minimize the group so I could collapse those here by hitting this button, hit play, spacebar, and leave our track where it is right now. We're going to continue to add more elements like the bass to give it some more energy. Remember our track is in B since the toms are in B and we want to keep it in key everything here. We can use this guy here for example. Let's drag it in, dial it down, hit play. It adds to the groove. It feels good. So drums, bass. What can we add now? Melodics, aka atmospheres, swells. But we're gonna have to choose B, right? Because our track is in B. So let's take this guy over here, dial it down, and hit play. Now it's going to play this guy in a loop. If I double click, we'll play it and start from the beginning. Cool. And if I don't want it to be looped, I can just unloop it here. And now it's going to play it as a one shot, as you can see over here. I could re-enable that loop anytime I'd like. So it plays every few bars. And in this channel over here, I'm going to load up a few different swells or melodics. So as a matter of fact, let's rename this one here and call him Ear Candy slash Bill. Make it blue. Assign track to color clips. And now we're going to take a different swell in B and play. Different vibe. Me likey. Another one in B. Oh, I like this one a lot. And if you have a swell sound like this one that just swells in and out, if you want to make it more like a pad, you could add in an echo. So what we're going to do is look for echo. Usually it's under audio effects, delay loop, echo. Just going to take that guy and put it on our ear candy slash fill channel. Let's give it another playthrough from here. Increase the feedback so it feedbacks for a longer time. Now it feels more like a consistent pad. Let's give it some reverb. I love this. Dude, I'm so inspired to continue to add to this groove. <laughs> There's one in B major. Let's try major. Switch. Dude. So this ear candy slash fill channel allows us to have a bit of melodic variation in the track, which is pretty cool. But for now, we're going to keep the first horizontal line with only the drums and the bass elements right now. And what's cool about this ear candy slash fill channel is that I could also use other elements like drums. Let's say I have this conga fill over here. 
I'll also just drag it in here, perhaps give it a different color so I can distinguish which ones are drums and which one not. And I'll hit play on the main sound, so it's spacebar now, and hit play on this sound over here. But notice how that loops up straight away. I don't want that loop to be so short. That's too much. So I can double click what we've just dragged in here and extend the length from one bar, which it is right now, to let's say four bars. Let's hit play again, space bar. So it leaves four bars of space before it plays again. I could even extend it to eight bars like this. Or if I don't like it looping up, I'll just disable the loop. So it plays as a one shot. Let's hit play again. There we go, that's it. And then I can just jam. Hit play on the individual mel melodies here, the pads. Lovely. And hit stop if I want the entire clip here to stop. All right, that's pretty awesome. Now we have a bit of a track going, an idea that could potentially turn into a full track. But how exactly do we take whatever we've gathered here and arrange it? How, how, how? <laughs> I'm gonna start by naming the first horizontal line intro. So we want the first horizontal line to be basic AF, right? We don't want any stuff going on here besides the basic drum groove. Right now there's a bit of stuff going on. So what could we take out to minimize that? How about the bass line? Bass line's too much. Let's drag it down one here. And let's turn it off. There's still some toms. I'm gonna turn those off too, drag them down. Okay, more like it. I'm gonna make this one red, so I know that my bass is red. Let's open up the drums channel as a matter of fact here. I'm gonna drag the shaker down here. So let's say this is the intro. This is what we would like the intro to be. I'm gonna select our first cell, the horizontal line over here, and hit Command D to duplicate. Now we're gonna rename this into break. So what are the characteristics of a break? Break usually doesn't have a kick, so we're gonna take that out over here. And we're gonna hit play over here. So it plays all the clips in this break section over here. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the melodies and put them in the break. And by the way, if you wanna stop all clips unconditionally, you can just hit the stop button on the master channel over here. Now let's play the break. Cool. So we're creating tension, right? This feels like, oh, eerie. Where are we now? So we're going to take the break section, duplicate that over here, rename the break into drop. Let's play the drop that we have here now. Let's take away the melody. Put back the kick. And take the bass heavy elements that we've previously dragged down and put them into the drop channel. So I'm going to hit stop on all clips. So we stop unconditionally and then play our drop. Yes. Now let's see how break and drop play with each other. So I'm gonna hit play on break. Okay, tension, tension. And now drop. Yes, simple, simple, simple. So I've just created three little horizontal lines, the intro, the break, and the drop, and we already have something going. So from here on, I could just duplicate the drop. Remember, we're duplicating layer by layer. And in the second part of the drop, so let's call this one drop two, we're gonna add in that shaker that we've previously dragged down. So let's play this guy here. I want to add some melodic variation to this part as well. So I'm going to take one of these ear candy fills and place them here. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Woo! can stop these clips anytime by just clicking on an empty cell over here. A stop button. Let's play it here. I love this ear candy slash fill channel because it just allows me to implement very, very intricate details in the track anytime I'd like. Stop. And then this here. Introduce the break again. But that feels kind of sudden, right? So we take away too many elements all of a sudden. What we're going to do is duplicate drop two and call this break two. And for break two, we're going to take away the kick. We're going to take away the shaker and give it a play. So we leave in that bass line. going to duplicate drop one, drag that down after break two. Awesome. Maybe add some kind of melodic feel here. Cool. And once we have an idea that we like, we can just stop everything. Hit stop around here, hit the record button, and then play from the intro. So we're gonna hit play. And then you can just individually go through the tracks that you've created here. So after eight bars, perhaps we could just introduce a new break here. And I'm just hitting play along these cells over here. Let's leave a bit of a break here. One, two, three, four. Play a bit of that ear candy here. Add in some melodic fills. Remember, I can throw these in anywhere, any when I like. Gonna wait a bit and introduce drop two shakers. Okay, stop so we don't have that melodic sound playing throughout the entire drop. Break two. This is where you could add a lot of fills, a lot of effects, a lot of melodies here, and switch through a few. going crazy doing whatever I like and I introduce drop two aka drop three isn't this awesome and once we hit stop we can hit tab and we see that whatever we've just jammed has been transferred now to the arrangement view so now we can hit this little knob over here and play what we've recorded. Awesome. All of the sounds that you heard today are from the Tulum Deep Tribal Organic Production Suite, which is coming out this Friday, so make sure to grab that one. And if you like the project file, you can grab it on my Patreon page. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.